Hello guys, um, today we're talking about the last episode of the series, Trial of the Trickster. Um, this episode here on May 18th, 1991, it was about 47 minutes long, it has 8.5 5 out of 10 on IMDb without 100 ish user votes. It, it guest stars uh, Mark Hamill once again, playing the trickster. We all know him from Star Wars and stuff. And the episode was directed by Danny Billison, who did, uh, who wrote The Rocketeer, and he, he was in other, he's been in other stuff too. Alright, so this episode, this is the last episode of the series, and they left on a high note. This episode is just plain out awesome. Mark, if you thought the trickster episode was Mark Hamill, you thought that was a little nutty, this episode goes full on batshit. Oh my god. This, this episode's awesome. It, it does, not only does it do everything right, like special effects, acting, and all that stuff, and and there's definitely some campy elements because Mark Hamill is just pretty much giving giving his, a live action Joker trickster style. That's pretty much what he's doing, and it's awesome. Um, and everything's well done to the story's great. It, th th it has an epic weight to it feel, even though I mean, in all honesty, this almost feels like a series. This feels like a season finale at the least, if not a series finale, because the way the way this episode is, it definitely has the feeling of Okay, we're gonna, we're this is definitely the end of the season. We're gonna end it pretty big. This feels like a season finale. Um, and they did plan on doing another season. Actually, the beginning episode of the next season. I know it's slightly off topic, but the beginning episode of the next season was gonna be a villain collab episode between the Trickster, Mirror Master, and Captain Cold. And it's like, God fucking damn it, if only they had another season. That's the thing, this series needed a second season. If a second season I think would have been awesome. If it would have it would have been it would have been awesome if there was a second season. But but yeah, if for this episode, this episode's awesome. You got Mark Hamill just going double dose Mark Hamilling it with the trickster. You had um everything else is Excellent acting, special effects, everything is just top notch. It just, it just feels like, it feels like they went all out for this episode. And they went out, and this series went all out for every episode in this series. There's not an episode in this where I felt like they were coasting it by any means. It, everything feels big budgeted for a TV series. This one feels very big budget in terms of just not necessarily like the looks of everything, but just how the tone how the actors and characters carry themselves. It just feels big. And I love it. And man, this... And, and, and the and this episode ends on a certain note that was like, okay, you ended... I don't want to give anything away, but just for people who are afraid this is one of those shows where, where it got canceled and that it didn't feel like it ended right, it doesn't quite have that. I mean, you can tell that they didn't plan on getting cancelled, but it ends in a way that's like, okay, this feels conclusive. I feel like I, I feel like I could leave this the way it is. Now granted, would I love to see more of this show? Absolutely, but oh my god, it's still awesome. Um but yeah, this 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 is a very awesome episode. I don't know what else I could say about it, because I mean it's it just feel it just feels very awesome and Mark and it's the same length as the Trickster episode, but I feel like we get more Mark Hamill being awesome in this for some reason. I feel like he gets a bit more screen time in this, and I don't know why it feels that way. Maybe it's because maybe because the scenes and everything he has more to chew on. And I feel like he's a bit more polished up in this one. I feel like in the first episode he was a little bit more like it took him a bit in the, the trickster episode to get on full on trickster. This one he's already full on trickster. There's like nothing holding him back. And I feel like he kind of made some touch ups because I feel like I think this whole series came out before the Batman animated series. So his jokerness, this is kind of the blueprint for his jokerness this series. And you can start to see it a bit more with this one than the trickster even though you did see it with the trickster episode. But yeah, this one is very it just feels like a movie. It really does. Each episode feels like a movie, but this feels like the big movie. The be-all movie. And... 
and yeah, I definitely like just... It does get campy, but it, there's definitely a... This Flash series has always had kind of a darker element to it that most people wouldn't associate with the Flash. And this one definitely has definitely has kind of that vibe too and a lot of that is just Mark Hamill just kind of going Joker-esque with his role and man there's, there's just not much more I can say about the series it's just so this episode too this episode is just so good definitely don't skip this this is the this is an episode you do not want to skip um I recommend it highly recommend it definitely check it out um and yeah, that's the last episode of the series, guys. It's unfortunate that the show ended like it like it did, but I'll talk more about that on the series review, which will come out next, and and we'll end this little vlog this vlog series installment on the on the series review. And yeah, this this was awesome. I really really loved this episode. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe and like the videos, and have a good day.